Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did for his. Um, just so you know, I decided to make a new footage seven days earlier than usual because, one, it's the 4th of July as this video is being made, and two, by the next week would be my next family reunion that I'm going to participate in. Well, if at all, if it's not on the 11th, then at a later point, so I apologize in advance if I got that wrong. So, um... In this particular footage, I'm going to introduce three characters. Yeah, three characters, as far as I can recall. And if you guys could bear with me, I'll describe them to you, and I hope there's some level of satisfaction. Here's the first character. Ex-agent. Real name, Betsy Widows. Height, 5 feet 8 inches. Weight, 144 pounds. Status, villain and Legion of Rotters member. Base, the Rotten Dimension, mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains. Behavior, willful, craving, and relentless. She'll eat as much meat as needed. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, cranial damage, salt, and fire. Powers, she possesses similar powers as the mercenary kill shot, along with some zombie-based powers. She's also skilled with all kinds of guns. Eyes, reddish-black. Hair, blackish-brown and scruffy. Origin. In the Rotten Dimension, the native kill shot is rather an undead version of her locally known as the X-Agent. One day, Vortex arrived to transport X-Agent to the default dimension, and the smell of fresh meat urged her to travel to this new destination. After a killing spree with bites and bullets, the undead mercenary was eventually confronted by Zombie Girl, a heroic cannibal zombie who defeated the ravenous X-Agent by devouring her brain. After reforming in her home reality, a newly recovered ex-agent was hired into a team known as the Legion of Rotters. Costume. She wears similar clothes as Killshot. Teams, solitary, with the Legion of Rotters and other villains. Original inspiration, zombies and Marvel's Black Widow. I apologize for you guys not knowing who Killshot is as of yet. I hope you could forgive me on that. The next one is an interesting individual that has to do with the, the balance of the cosmos and such. Here this is. Yang. Real name, none. Height, 3 feet 6 inches. Weight, weightless. Status, hero. And symbol of good. Base, mobile. Intelligence, 5 brains. Behavior. Clever and compassionate. He'll do anything to help all good. Lethality depends on the scenario. Weaknesses. He and his twin are unable to go further than 20 feet away from each other in order to keep the cosmos in proper symmetry. Powers. She possesses vast luck powers used to help other heroes. She also, he also has immortality, levitation, phasing abilities, and invisibility. Eyes black, hair none. Origin. Nuwa once felt that it's needed to make the physical forms of the two ancient symbols of yin and yang. She used her powers to create the twin spirits in opposite colors of black and white named yin and yang. One time, Rath decided to see if the twins could get separated. When doing so, the brothers were overjoyed of their supposed freedom. Yang soon decided to help the Alpha Gods with another quarrel with Cosmic and her allies. Eventually, all the heroes lost their worth in the eyes of the public, and they agreed with all the villains to convince Wrath to put the twins back together. Later, they tricked Yin and Yang into standing too close to each other, 
and wrath restored their bonding, and doing so, recovered the balance of the cosmos. Since then, Yang will always try to tolerate his opposing twin. Costume? None, respectively. He doesn't need any outfit due to being a manifestation. Teams? Solitary or other heroes? Ultra Inspiration? The Yin Yang. And this is the last character. If you guys remember the character that I introduced in the past, Quagga, this is affiliated with that character. Just bear with me. Zebra Girl. Real name? None. Height? 7 feet 9 inches. Weight? 344 pounds. Status Hero and the Sister of Quagga. Base? The Warped. Mobile. Intelligence? Three brains. Behavior. Sneaky, willful, and utterly will weird. She always enjoys being unique. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. Rejection and low trust level. Powers. She's a human-zebra hybrid with a variety of Warpian-based powers. Eyes, light blue. Hair, black and white in a mohawk. Origin. In the Warped, Zebra Girl is a human-zebra hybrid who's also the sister of the unusual native Quagga. One day, Zebra Girl decided to visit the traditional default dimension, where Quagga introduced her to the rest of the Hoof Heroes. Eventually, a tri tyrannoquatalist flew by and attacked the Heart of Paris, and after a time of the Hoof Heroes dealing with the organism, Zebra Girl finally defeated the creature by turning it into a pile of white paste. Since then, Zebra Girl would spend her time being a newly recruited member of the Hoof Heroes. Costume. She simply wears a matching fabric top. Teams. Solitary. With the Hoof Heroes and Hover Heroes. Original inspiration. Zebras and centaurs. And just so you guys know, a tri tyrannoquatalus is simply... Think of it this way. It has three T-Rex heads and the tail of a T-Rex as well, but the rest of the body is that of a Quetzalcoatlus, which is like a pterodactyl, but way bigger. So uh, there's that, you know. Um, like recently, I have made new illustrations to re newly input some illustrations that I have made in the past. Because I felt that those original portrayals might be a bit unnecessary to my audience's uh, perspective. So I decided to change it to make it more socially tolerable, tolerable in a sense. And uh, second mention, I apologize if I failed to make the right calculation for the family reunion and such. And just so you know, on the 26th, I will turn 25. And it's the same birthday as my dad, so just... To let you guys know and such. And uh, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And last I checked, I have 1,822 plus views on this podcast. And last I checked before that, I had somewhere over 1,400 approximately um, like um, views. And that's within the time span of, like, two videos, I think. So, four weeks, I think. I apologize if it's not accurate in the right aspect, and I hope I'm not screwing myself over with any of this stuff and such. So, um, I hope I appear tolerable to you guys, and I hope you guys are appreciating how things are and such, despite any circumstances that come into play. And second mention, you could... Like, subscribe, and comment down below. You don't have to. It's all on you. I would like to feel the glory of feeling socially accepted, but at the same time, I don't want to seem desperate and stubborn about it. So I'm just trying to spare you guys the trouble. So, um, until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine 4th of July with the stars and stripes. And uh, until next time, in transmission.